Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays the Binding of Isaac Anti-Birth. We're gonna continue our, um, blue baby descent into madness. I've made a resolution in the, uh, M-W-M-W-H-1-S-N. M-W-M-W-H-1-S-N. No, I've made a resolution in the, uh, in the Afterbirth Plus videos. I think I have become a tilt monster. Which is to say... I tilt a little too easily. You know, I walk into a room. Oh, there's enemies on it? That's real fair. Oh, I took damage because I was too aggressive. Wow, what a fun game. Whoa, what design changes did you make this time? You know, it's not it's not a good look. I've, it's going to take some work because we're doing these runs that are... Uh, I mean, how many times do you need me to say it? They're, they're tough runs, over and over. Blue Baby Alt Path should be on the easier side as opposed to, like, you know, Bethany Alt Path slash Boss Rush, Jacob and Esau Boss Rush, etc., etc. Um... However, that's no excuse. You should slow your roll, be grateful, play better, play, you know, do the do the little things right. Give a hundred Excuse me. Give 110%. Get out there, play your game. Want it more than the other team. Etc. Various sports uh, metaphors is what I'm trying to get at here. Drop a bomb, please. Or a key. But drop a bomb that gives me a spirit heart and a key. That's the that's the keys to the kingdom. Dude, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. You wouldn't not give me a key. And additionally, not give me a bomb to access the tinted rock. I haven't used any consumables. It's criminal. The things you're doing to me here is criminal. As Blue Baby, you owe me a bomb. It's my birthright. And I'll cry if I want to. I mean, that's a speed upgrade. Not really what I'm looking for, but uh, it is a syringe, which is also not really what I'm looking for because we're playing anti-birth as opposed to afterbirth. But 1.40 speed is an oh my god! How many special people change? How many babies live in strange? Where were you while we were getting screwed? This fight is gonna be three minutes long. That's why I chose an Oasis song. Where were you while we were getting screwed? Someday we will beat the envy in the boss room. And a baby will be blue. <laughs> it's just enemy, dude. Dude, give me ship to whoop at least. I've earned it. It's shoop to whoop all is forgiven. I mean, I know it doesn't seem like it's that meaningful, but I believe in the power of shoop to whoop to save our run. Now, we're going to have to do a non-alt floor, which means that we need two keys on the next floor to go to the item room because we have to go to the alt floor after that, um, which requires, again, the use of a single key. However, if we get two keys, no harm, no foul. I am tempted, by the way, in case this is not uh, abundantly clear, very tempted to go to the um, curse room. If we get one spirit heart, effectively we break even. If we get, you know, two spirit hearts, that's great. If we get an item that gives us two spirit hearts, even better. Guppy item, nine lives, etc., etc. You know, we can start to get good stuff. So there's one key that gives us access to the alt path if we're lucky enough to live that long. And I do think that luck does play a role um, at this point. You got 3 HP to not die is skill. If you got 1 HP to not die, you know, you gotta you gotta strike while the iron's hot. So, what are we doing here? I was really hoping to get uh, ahead of the the game by a shoop whoop but unfortunately shoop whoop did not save us from having to knock these guys out the old-fashioned way, but that's fine. I'm trying to save shoop whoop for rooms in which it's really actually important, which it really matters, and uh... I think that's certainly... Oh, thank you. I think that's certainly uh, saving it for that room was important, but we can maybe use it a little better in the future. Now, uh, if, we're, if we really want to win as Blue Baby, prove it. We need to shoot fires. Does it give us a good chance to get Spirit Hearts? No, but it gives us a chance to get Spirit Hearts, and that's, you know, pretty much the best we fucking got right now. Remember to shoot out your fires. They're the only ones you've got. Don't get crossed wires, or your electronics will get too hot. 
And then just turn that the rest of that song parody into a, a PSA. This run is a PSA right now. Pretty shit. Pretty shit. At look on life. Um, well, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Probably not a secret room, but tinted rocks, please. Uh, it meant spirit hearts, but it gave us spirit hearts anyway. Beautiful. All right, again, we need one more key to be able to go to our item room, but at least having two HP is something. And as bad as our DPS is right now, and it's pretty not good, the fact that we at least have Mom's wig is important. With a capital I. People say that, they just mean, you know, it's very important. But instead of using very, they add a stylistic choice. It's important with a capital I. Which, is quite honest, is not how the English language works. Um, you know, the important words don't just have capitals. Proper nouns have capitals. You know, here's an important word, um, or an important sentence. Don't drink and drive. The only word in that sentence that has a capital is don't. Unless you wrote it like, don't drink and drive, which I guess would be more of like an exclamation. You get the idea. What I'm trying to say is English is weird. You see, in other languages, they'll be like this. Oh, what is that? But in English, we go, I did not eat. Uproarious laughter. Doctor, I am Pagliacci, etc., etc. Uh, it's a black market, which is horrible, unless something in here can keep us alive. Dude, I don't know about birthright. I'm just gonna level with you. If you can give me an HP upgrade, that'd be sweet. I thought we had birthright as blue baby once. It maybe gives you like a bunch of spirit hearts. So check this out. Your boy Northern Lion is gonna look up birthright anti-birth wiki. Birthright on blue baby. HP ups give two soul hearts instead of one. We still couldn't have uh, gotten it right off the bat, but now we know at least what we can do with this in the future. So HP ups give two soul hearts instead of one. That's good to know. Will we be able to afford it? Probably not. But at least it exists. How's this run going on time? Well, I, we don't have to worry about time so much because this is not Afterbirth Plus. We just have to worry about you know knowing that we're going to be on the downpour on the next floor and. You know, that it comes with its own unique set of, uh, my god, we're fucking deadnesses. Very, very slow going here to start with. Thank god for mom's wig is all I'll say. Please, just give me a spirit heart. Then we can take birthright, fight the boss, hope to get an HP upgrade. We could pivot, we could pivot. Temperance doesn't do it for us. Sorry, baby plum. Wow, never mind. Go fuck yourself, baby plum. I didn't realize you were gonna stand up to that level of resistance. Honestly, I thought you were primed for dusting. We're in a very awkward spot because we pretty much need to deal with the devil. We need the DPS that, that comes with those. Yeah, nice. Well done. Um, we need the DPS that comes with those. Stay away, stay away. There we go. But we need HP to take it, unless we get Squeezy, which allows us to actually take Birthright as well, but now things are getting a little tricky. Um, we have to take the Pact. That's like the perfect item for us to find in here is the Pact. Now we could take Birthright, but it's a little spooky. So hear me out here. Um, I think that we're going to go to the curse room, as stupid as that sounds. And it may be very stupid. It was highly stupid. I tried to leave so we wouldn't get hit with the penalty again as soon as I saw that it was just spiders. Give me a key. Give me a penny? Not becoming a tilt monster. Not becoming a tilt monster, okay. We still have shoot the whoop. We have the alt path unlocked. We can't take birthright, we could no, we can't take birth. I'm like I'm trying to like finagle the situation. I'm always bummed that we can't open an item room because that's the engine that actually makes the game enjoyable most of the time. But I will admit that the uh, deal with the devil was fantastic. That's more than we often can say. So uh, recognize that we're we're unlucky, and then in our own unique way, we're lucky as well. And a uh, a tears upgrade is actually very good with mom's wig. Because it is going to allow us to, I mean, if all of the things are equal, are equal, I should say, we will be creating more spiders. We actually, I mean, I didn't even know that these existed in the game, but we can get an item room because we just got a key. 
Imagine that. We also have a Tinted Rock, which is tempting, but... Some kind of tumor? Spider Bite is good, but let's go for this. Tiny Toma. It is, it's actually a fairly large Toma, I've got to be honest with you. So it's an orbital. Way too early to tell if it was worth um, not taking Spider Bite. Spider Bite is pretty good. But I, you know, it's it's not implausible to think that this could be better. What? With the final shot, you just wanted to be a, a huge dick, huh? Okay, well, now we got two more bombs. So you know what? Walk back. I don't really care if it's small rock or, um... Uh, okay, well, I, I guess my brain decided, you know, to look for the secret room there as well as get access to the shop, which is not actually a horrible play. We need two bombs, but we don't need two bombs right away. We can wait one extra floor. But if we get them right away, I would like to go down immediately to have the choice in the item room. Two spirit hearts. This is going to be very advantageous for us because we are dealing with a... Um, a pretty good devil deal chance here. I don't know why it's 67. I, I feel like that might be something to do with the weirdness of going from the basement directly down to, or the cellar, I guess, more accurately, directly down to uh, the downpour. So, more power to us, I guess. We should take advantage of it if we can. We do have another tinted rock. Probably the right time to strike. You know, get that Tinted Rock exploded. Hoping to pick up, of course, more Spirit Hearts. Take the deal with the Devil that we might not have even earned. There's another Tinted Rock. We're going to do it. We're going to try. We don't need to go down to the next floor right away, although we would like to. One Spirit Heart and sec a regular Secret Room access, which gave us two bombs. Now, again, it's a little... Suspicious whether this is the right play. I was hoping to get a bomb back, and that's exactly what happened. We got six cents, two bombs. This is actually starting to shape up decently here. Now, I'm still a little surprised at the lack of damage from Shoop -de Whoop, but. Oh, right, this is shitty Shoop -de Whoop, right? I mean, it's still better than the poop, but I forgot that Rebirth has a poor Shoop -de Whoop. But it still is once every two rooms. Instead of poops once every room, except it's actually useful. So, um, we might as well take this first. We can't cheat Devil Deals, so we might as well take this first. We, we can't become Dark Judas, so I'm all the more appreciative of a uh, the Super Bandage pickup that showed up. And we'll head down to the mines, where things are just hellish. Like, this floor always gets me. But we're starting to make a run that can work for us. I will definitely take the left hand. Actually, like, the broken magnet has been pretty good for us, but left hand, an all-time classic, not just for guppy chances, but for uh, red chess, deal with the devil access that otherwise, oh, dude, Teratoma blocked it. Yeah, I, I watched that happen and was like, this is not gonna work. Um, it makes little baby Teratomas? Now, usually items like this reset once per floor. And it breaks into spiders. Maybe it's just gone when it's gone. That would suck, though. Donkey's Jawbone, Chocolate Milk. Donkey's Jawbone sort of sucks. Um, it was great in Community Remix. And when I say an item sucks, I don't mean it sucks from like a design perspective. I just mean it's it's not a run winner for us in a vacuum by itself. There's Guppy's Paw. You've, you're feeling it. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? If you laugh for that, you should be ashamed. I just committed meme fraud. I was too old to be in the target audience for SpongeBob SquarePants when it aired contemporaneously. So check that out. I just got credit for a meme that I wasn't even a part of. That's how easily it can happen. Don't let yourself get memed on like that. Make sure they've earned it. If we can only take one of these, give me the quarter. Five spirit hearts. Time time delayed. Um, well, we got our Teratoma back. Library? Not library. Hero's Gauntlet is not good enough. We'll buy a Spirit Heart, we'll buy Booster Pack. Booster Pack has come with a two of clubs, a two of spades, and a tower card. So we'll use two of spades, hold two of clubs. You're feeling it, though. This run has gotten the momentum it needs. Red Chest giving us deal with the devil would be a very positive move for us to make as well. 
accelerate that guppy dream because we've only got the 33% chance naturally here, but we can we can augment that if you will. Just pop up. Pop up and get dusted. She said, don't you dare hold back. Just get your tears on me. You said, I won't hold them back. He said, get dusted. <laughs> Shut up, get dusted, please. This poop is my enemy. See, there we go. It came together at the end. Saying, ooh, ooh. Shut up, get dusted, please. No bombs. That's a, well, we have two clubs. That, that burns me deep in my soul. This guy's just gonna be driving forever here. Cool. Well, that's a free bomb then. Two extra spirit hearts. I am feeling the dream starting to come to fruition. That could be a secret room. It was not, but I think it's a good sign that I didn't even have to consciously think about it. My brain was just like, hold up, dude, that could be a secret room. Beautiful. Dude, shut up, get dusted, please, is gonna be stuck in my head forever. It's No Thirsty by Iggy Azalea. I think it, it's underrated, though. People will come to terms. It's gonna be like my Pinkerton. Perfect time for a bomb. Small Rock? I could, I've earned it now. You know, I'll take two Spirit Hearts as well. We are gonna need those moving forward, but... Um, where you at? Oh, the dustening. I saw that. At the last second, I was like, you're standing in a very stupid location. The sun may rise in the east, but against the minecart, you're in a stupid location. Okay, okay. failure. Failure to launch. They say hard what in the sweat. world is this? With the freaking... Uh, Binding of Isaac Wiki wants to play an ad in the background. That's why you gotta go to play, uh, Platinum God, dude. What kind of asshole would release content on the internet on an ad-supported model? That's ridiculous. Quite honestly, I'm offended and completely bereft of self-awareness. Okay, Get, grab your spirit hearts. We didn't do so well at the end of that floor, but... Head downwards here. Curse of the Unknown doesn't really bum me out. You know what? Just get two of the clubs out of our system. We've been waiting long enough. I'm offended by the number of tinted rocks we've gotten. It's a pleasant place to be. Crystal ball. We gotta do crystal ball. Teleport me, please. I don't want to be here. You know what? I'll take my chances. Oh, sure, like, if I summon 30 bombs, he can't suck them up, but even if I got, like, wicked mass, he has no problem making me part of his fucking worldview. I see how it is. We're gonna stick with Crystal Ball, actually, so. Um, why Crystal Ball? Uh, mapping, spirit hearts, tarot cards, you know, let me count the myriad reasons. Hope you're enjoying the dulcet tones of my mechanical keyboard here. Sounds like there's there's a song there. Give me a second. Ooh, my little sticky one. Sticky one. When you're gonna buy me a mechanical keyboard? Ooh, you make the clicky clacks on Isaac Attacks. Wanna get a deal with the devil mechanical keyboard? Alrighty. Well, you know, it's the last video of the day. Forgive some silliness, please. Do we we might not get spiders out of Teratoma. Like, well, I mean, out of little Teratoma. But we may. I'm just like, we're, we're spawning a lot of spiders right now. Some of them are coming from Mom's Wig, surely. But some of them are coming from unknown origins. Still happy with the left hand. If it gives us a guppy item per floor, I'm going to be stoked. Our bombs are also giving us sometimes... What? Yeah, you know what? That's fine. I don't need the other left hand. Anyway, it's not like I was trying to replace it with itself. No, it definitely gave us spiders, so. That was stupid of me. 
Uh, both of these items are not that good. We will take Aquarius, which I think is at least some offense. Spelunker's hat annoys me because it's still inarguably somewhat useful, but it's worse than X-ray goggles. So whenever you get it, you fall into this like trap of like, well, I wish I just got X-ray goggles instead. That's not really how the world works, you know? Like, if you get something good you, for free, you don't go, why didn't I get the better thing for free? At least I feel like you shouldn't. Starter deck is great, allows us to hold two different cards, one of which is Temperance, the other is the Empress. One of which is Temperance, the other is the Entrance. Wait, that's not right, but either way, we want to not really take uh, Temperance with us. It just doesn't garner much usefulness. Try to play sound here, because uh, we are... About to give two spirit hearts to whatever is happening. Yeah, we'll take Hangman. Uh, whatever is happening after this boss room, which may be a tough boss room. And then beyond that, we also have, um, you know, the, the pretty decent chance to deal with the devil shows up. So, um, we need to play our own intelligent game right now. Beautiful, that actually worked. Okay, let's see what we got going on in here. I'm going to pop the Empress. I'm actually going to pop Hanged Man as well. That allows us to actually go in behind him if we decide that that's a sane idea. That's fair. I think I earned that damage. How's Teratoma as an orbital? I mean, I don't really want to just turn it into spiders is the thing. Does this guy haunt us? Like, if we go here, does he just not do anything? Or does he does he slide over here into our DMs? Whoa! Okay, that was real close. Watch out for that attack. Beautiful. Ideal finish. No bombs. No deal with the devil might be a good thing, to be honest with you. We'll take our one HP, which could be two, but let's not be bitter. Uh, we need the knife piece. We need the knife piece. We need the knife piece. You've earned You've earned a good chunk of change. Go get a knife piece. Buy a bomb from the shop. Blow up the tinted rock. Like, you're, you're owed one small rock every two runs. It's in the fucking union agreement that we drafted up with... The Isaac developers last year. If I don't get that, then, you know, honestly, you'll be hearing from my lawyer. Sorry, let's do that as Millhouse Mana Storm from the Warcraft series. You'll be hearing from my lawyer! That's better. Yay! Um, so we got our two bombs. We're going down to the mausoleum. I would love small rock. Oh, that's a small rock, but it's not the small rock. We're at full HP. What a world. Okay, we got our knife pieces. How's the run? It could fall apart. Oh, we skipped an item room earlier, and as a result, now we get Venus. HP up plus you feel pretty. All right, if you say so. Um, not gonna, not gonna argue with you. I mean, just learn to take a compliment, right? Um, the HP upgrade was worthless, but I mean, I my defense. I might have seen that item before, but I don't remember. Easy to remember. Venus, goddess of love. You know, it's the female symbol there. Keep that locked in the old dome piece for next time. I will say I do miss Shoop de Whoop. As much as I hate to admit it, because it kind of was not that great uh, in, in Rebirth, I miss it nonetheless. Oh, you scared me, dude. Don't scare me like that. I miss Shoop the Woo because it's damage. And, you know, as, as good as this run is, and it actually is good, we're low on our own, uh... We're low on our own damage, unfortunately. Spirit Hearts are in a lovely place. Such a lovely place. But... And, and don't get me wrong, I love having the Crystal Ball. But I would love to get a spacebar item that gives us some offense as well. Blank card, I mean, is pretty swell. Um, we're just going to use this right now. Could have saved it for later, but... I mean, four spirit arts is okay. At least it gives us the ability to fuck up, basically. Um, not the excuse to, though. Basically, I want to see if we get a really good card right here. If we get a good card... Maybe blank card becomes usable. Uh... Yes, okay, so this is a start. We'll buy blank card, and then we have, uh... 
effectively a better version of the D6. We don't want broken stopwatch, so we're going to use a bomb here and reroll it. Got sharp plug. We're probably not going to get another chance, so let's let's accept that sharp plug might be acceptable here. I don't really want to take the time and the and the risk to go to that other side of the mausoleum if I'm fucking that was really bad of me. If I'm destroying a run, I don't mind. But if if the run's like somewhat shaky ground, and this this run is, then I'd like to um, avoid it. But we'll see if maybe we want to use it as an opportunity to farm up some rerollies. I felt bad about even saying it that way. It just didn't come out of the come out of the gullet right. Ah, oh, you freaking jerk! Doesn't matter. We got so many spirit arts. It's not a good excuse to make mistakes. Life goes on. Uh, for now, this might finally be the run. Rotten Baby, certainly worth taking. Especially over an item that is not very good uh, as Blue Baby. So Rotten Baby is a little bit of a damage infusion, which to be honest with you, we, we sort of sorely need. Pride, probably a waste of our time. But it can get re-rolled. There's no bookworm transformation, but let's try anyway. Maybe we'll get lucky. Get something good. Black Bean is not good. That is a uh, mostly just a waste of space. And it's only a waste of space because uh, because of the fact that we need to win. If we were just looking for a zany run, it would just be bad. Instead, I went over the top, and for that I apologize. I don't mean to offend Black Bean. I mean, of the bean items... It's arguably the best if you have an existing spacebar item that is doing anything for you. Ooh, I saw you. You tried to hide from me, but I saw you. Smell my fun gear. Now get away! All right, well, that, that room was probably like my worst nightmare crystallized into a single form. Um, we can reroll our 100% devil chance. Life's been good, dude. Um, this guy's still gonna be tough, and again, like, we are so far from ballin' right now. The spiders are nice, the flies are nice. Right, he does this about a thousand times. But we are, like, not crushing it for certain. Thankfully, I actually feel way better about that Pandora's box play from earlier. The four spirit arts it's turning out are actually pretty useful for us here. Holy crap. I've seen through the Matrix. Plus one to your lowest stat. And then a deal with the devil. It's Krampus. Dude, straight up. Lump of coal is worth taking. Head of Krampus. Thank God we built our own D6 here. Reroll that. <sighs> Could give us a spirit heart. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. It gave us a spirit heart. So it's like as good as an HP upgrade. Go back and get the spirit hearts. There's really no excuse not to, um, except being lazy, which I still I stand by laziness as a reasonable excuse. We're gonna go uh, pick up these bombs. We got a moon card. Um, these bombs, I meant spirit hearts, by the way. Moon card. Uh, well, certainly we're not going to boss rush. This is only Mausoleum 1. Okay. Certainly we're not going to boss rush. I'm starting to see the way that we win this run, to be honest with you. The moon card doesn't factor in, but it was a catalyst. Maybe use this to get out of a curse room like that one right there, for example. Or maybe just get out of the boss trap room after getting a red chest that gives you nine lives and totally fucks your HP. Right, I forgot about that part. Well, we got our, um, we got our work cut out for us now. I still don't know what that does. Turns all consumables into money. Try to remember that, because I think we've had it before. In contrast to what you might think, I am I'm far from despondent. We're very close to the guppy dream now. And nothing is going to bring me down. Sure, it would have been better to get that item earlier. It would have been better to at least lampshade the fact that uh, it might not be the best idea to take nine lives. In fact, it may squander a one run. But I'm going to do whatever I can in my power to make sure that it does not. Um, we, If we're going to go to the cursor, we need a spirit heart to do so, which sucks pretty bad. But 
We can reroll this. We've rerolled it into uh, an attack fly, which I think is fine, and maybe starts to take us close to that Beelzebub transformation. And flying would at least let us get into the curse room for free. And then if we got guppy items in there or spirit hearts, then I'm not sweating the nine lives. Like, that's actually completely fair. The, the thing I try to stress about uh, nine lives is that the, the lives don't really matter. Sure, sissy long legs. The lives don't really uh, matter at all. Hopefully we can fly at some point. I'll spend the bombs to get the red chest, but I'd rather fly. Because the tinted rock can save a lot, of, a lot of heartache right now. We could blow up some skulls as well. That might be relevant, but... Um, hope it doesn't seem like I'm, I'm despondent, because I'm not. It's more just muted, because life is going to be a little, a little tougher than it used to be for a bit here. Two bombs to get that red chest. Let's do it. My god, he's done it. He's the Gupster. Now, in the interest of being academic, this doesn't necessarily mean that the Guppy item was worth it. Hilariously enough. Because it could still lead to us being dead as hell. Shears is quite good, of course, but we're going to reroll it. Um... Why not? Just sock it to me here. It'll take a little dumpy. Um, however, it's hard to argue. If you had asked me before I took nine lives, is it worth taking nine lives in this situation? I could have conceivably said no. I could have conceivably said that to Guppy as well, but less likely to do so, I think. Check this, because blank card, again, blank card plus something that you actually like means infinite of, of what you actually like. And that invincibility could be... Um, Meaningful, but we're looking for the Hierophon, obviously. Uh, blank card. Two of hearts is worthless. Blank card, Hierophon. There you go. So we got Perthrow and Hierophon. Pretty much exactly what we want. Now battery charges, if there's no rerolls, uh, and blank card charges, if there's no rerolls, are going to go to the Hierophon. And I'm actually just going to give one to the Hierophon right away. At the risk of losing our reroll here, I don't want to die on the mom fight and lose you know, what we've got right now. And the mom fight is no freaking joke in anti-birth. At least not on this run, which is still, you know, not low on damage, but not the greatest damage run we've ever had. So we're going to take the Polaroid. That doesn't matter, right? Yes, we're just looking to go alt path. So we're going to fight mom's heart right away. So we got to be very cautious about this deal with the devil. That this is the perfect deal with the devil. Even just one spirit heart. Thank you. Thank you sincerely from the bottom of my broken heart for that goat head. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this up. Mom's heart with a nice little insect and arachnid army for me here. Pay attention to your own orbital. Holy crap, it's blocking the shots. It's a tear in my eye. We've done it. No deal with the devil, of course, but we will see the deal with the devil we just had again after entering this room, I think. Or not. That's also fine. So we're going to get uh, one more boss with one more item and then a deal with the devil. Oh, never mind. I don't know. We're going to get one more boss. We're still going to get one more deal with the devil. But it's going to be a, a much larger floor. We'll only have one deal with the devil instead of two, if there could even be two before. I'm not sure. And then um, we're going to get our four items directly after that goes down. We're already guppy. Drop the left hand, I guess. <laughs> Excuse me. Highly relevant sneeze. I've been holding that one in for two weeks. Always feel good. I love to have a, at least a chance at a successful run on the last run of the day. Because it means that I can hit, you know, the nose of the grindstone tomorrow. Without, um, without any negativity in my heart. And there you go. You get small rock. We still, at this point, need more HP to kill, uh, the witness, probably. But I'm, I'm happy because we have the keys to the kingdom. We need battery charges are just lovely right now. 
Random spirit hard drops, tinted rocks. I'll try to pay attention for for all those. Um, obviously, like we just want to use the. Holy Christ! Just want to use the. Uh, Hero font blank card whenever it's available. We don't need to play that well to get enough HP to win, I think. I, mean, I think we're almost there. And honestly, the small rock pickup is a bit of a shortcut for us because, you know, it, it accomplishes in one item what we would have loved to have seen happen over the course of four items. So, at the end of the corpse, that is. So, this is pretty good. And, oh my god, we found our boss rooms. Um, we can always farm up one more reroll if we want. Be a little touch and go against this guy sometimes. Oh my lord. Yeah, okay. Just stay calm. Human brain was designed to do things like this, probably. Good job. Thank you, damage. Speed upgrade? I mean, it's actually, unpopular opinion, not that bad of an idea right now. But, and in fact, we're not going to be able to reroll the speed upgrade and save a reroll for our four golden chests, so... We'll open the golden chest. If the golden chests end up being... Oh, well, now we got a battery charge. But if the golden chests end up being all good, which is possible but unlikely, um, we will re-roll the speed upgrade twice. Otherwise, we'll we'll save our re-rolls for the, uh, the four chests in here. I don't know what that is. I've, I've had it, but I don't know what it is. Well, it's certainly one thing's getting re-rolled. I think this is a little too little too late. I'll take this, what effectively is a spirit heart and a very small damage upgrade. What is, lo Lodestone makes shots magnetized to an enemy, which is good. Um, you know what? Blank card here, font. Use per throw. And we got two tiers upgrades, which we can absolutely take. Minus four to our tier delay is great. Another, no, that one wasn't minus four. That one was just shot speed. And the reason I did this is because I realize at this point, one reroll is probably less incrementally valuable to our chances of winning than it is, uh, than would benefit us if we just went straight for the hero font here. So we will take the speed upgrade. We're, we're not slow, but we're not so fast that this is a bad idea. And then we'll use the hero font twice to get four extra hits on the witness fight. I think we have solved the riddle of the Sphinx. And we'll come out ahead here. I'm pretty happy about the way that this is going right now. And this was a high quality run, don't get me wrong. But keep in mind, if you're going to be... Oh, look Look at how carried he got. He got so carried. Did I? Did I? I don't know if that's true. Did you see the... Um, how What our run looked like after that 9 lives pickup? Dude, that attack is so cool. That's why I like not complaining about games so much. It allows you to notice the stuff that's really dope. And that animation combined with the attack is super cool. Alright. We are putting on a clinic to some extent. He, he can't kill us in time. No matter how many times he hits us, we, we, we can't be crushed here. We're just hitting him too fast. We have the Hero Font card. Permanent Polaroid Invincibility plus the damage that we're doing. Got no answer. Beautiful, dude. Okay. Great run. I had a good time. Ooh. We'll enter in here and unlock something else. Eternal D6. All right. And Mega Mush. <laughs> That's a, a big old mushroom. I got to be honest with you. It looks like a fun guy. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.